guys, and welcome to a video where I do makeup. A little out of my comfort zone. I've tried to do several videos like this before, and they just didn't come out like I wanted. But I'm going to try again, because it's a rainy day out, so I was like, what's better than a dark, cloudy makeup look, right? So we're going to go in with the primer on my face. Um... If I look like I have no idea what I'm doing, it's probably because I have no idea what I'm doing. So we're just going to wing it. We're just going to slap some primer on your face. I think I might have put too much. And yes, my acne has been acting up. Um, but I have ways to get rid of, rid of, rid of acne. I just thought I'd make a video of it, so I've not really done my every night routine for a couple of days. And that's what happened, you know. My face is very hormonal okay for rubbing it in is this rubbed in enough i think it is so after that um since this is a makeup video and it's a special kind of makeup video i'm not doing things exactly normally i want to create like little cloud bursts with a silver lining on my face so we're going to take my white little halloween makeup this is really cheap makeup so i'm not exactly sure how this is going to turn out. But I can paint, and so we're going to paint little clouds on our face. And they're going to look more stormy after I, you know, add the storminess to it. I probably should have glued down my eyebrow, but it's okay. We'll make it like a dark cloud here on the edges. Kind of to give it kind of a sunsetty look. Kind of wanted a pinkish red. Which I already messed up because I added too much red. I'm just going to put it on my hand. Kind of blend it out. Kind of blend it out. Kind of add a pinkish color. And kind of add this pinkish color a little bit everywhere. Kind of like a cloud shape. and kind of shape my clouds a little bit, you know? Get a little more of that red. Kind of shape those clouds. You know, more most of the time people wouldn't want a red face, but I'm kind of going for like a sunsetty red. So kind of not like a pure red. I'm trying to give my clouds some definition. So it's all right. And then we're going to add a little bit to the top. Kind of, to it's kind of to help frame. Oh, that just focused on everything that was wrong. Oh, let me look. That's decent. Kind of what I'm going for. And then we're going to add the black. So this one I'm kind of nervous about because I'm trying to make like a grayish color. I'm scared it's not going to come out like a grayish color. So I'm actually going to add the black and mix it with a little bit of primer. So my primer is kind of, it comes on clear but it has like a white pigment to it. Let's hope it's like more slide on kind of easy. And we're going to add a little bit of black, just a little bit at a time. And if you want, just go on with your fingers. And we're going to make it look like a cloud, like a gray cloud. Kind of like that. And then we're going to go in over here, same way. Kind of dot it. Alright. And now I'm going to take the black. And I'm going to do like a bold outline, like pure black outline. 
I probably should be doing this with the eyebrow brush, but... This one is going to kind of go over into this area. I'm trying to spread it. And then cloud shapes. Like I said, we're going to make this line a little less harsh going on the inside, so blend it inwards. So that's more like a cloudy, smoky light, because you know clouds are a rough shape. But we got like a dark, harsh line, and we blend it up. And it should make it like a little puff puff. Like that. A little puff puff. And then we go up and do the same thing with this one. And the same thing with this one. And there's a cloud on your face. It's nothing too crazy. Last but not least, I'm adding this highlighter from the $5 store, five and below. It's actually a really, like, there's right on my hand, but, like, let's see if I can get it focused. It's a really harsh highlighter that doesn't really highlight, rather than sticks a glowing iridescent. Like, it's really hard to blend out to a good highlight, because it's just so, like, strong and out there. And some people may like that on my casual makeup. I don't really do that. But since this is like a cloud with a silver lining, I thought that'd be a cool addition to it. For some reason I can't get the liquid out. There we go. Finally. I'm going to rinse off the black from my brush so it's not like a gray lining. We want a silver. We don't want the, the black of the brush to mattify the beautiful silver looks. Okay. And for the silver lining, we're just going to highlight where our harsh line was. And it doesn't have to be clean because, you know, clouds aren't perfect. And kind of do that whenever, wherever your clouds meet. Because, you know, every cloud has a silver lining. Let's add a silver lining up here and along the border. And ta -da, you got your cloudy, mysterious look. You can do a smoky eye eyeshadow. And it probably, I mean, it would have complemented this look really well. It's kind of just a fun makeup look that you can do anytime and be super raindrops. I know my camera focuses at all the wrong points, but 
I think little raindrops would give it nice. Nice. A nice look too. You just gotta let it dry though because this highlighter is kind of a greasy texture, you know? Kind of like a an oily feel. It's not the best, but it is cheap. And it does really good for like dramatic makeup looks. You can even go down your neck if you just look forward how you would. And keep going. And here already, you're ready to so, Alright, let's bring you out over here. And, oh, it's not great. There is much to improve, but if you can do this better, send me a picture. Uh, my email is in my about, um, or contact me through Instagram. It's the same name as all my other names on my account, Sky's Chance. And yeah. If you like this video, please comment and let me know. <laughs> okay, I'm just taking some photos for the thumbnail. All right, this is all. So thank you for watching. This has been Sky's Chance and her little cloudy makeup tutorial. If you liked what you saw, please like and comment below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!